All right, Sports Illustrated named him the greatest sportsman of the 20th century, no doubt about it. The BBC dubbed him the sports personality of the century. Muhammad Ali had an impact well beyond just the sports world for sure. As Cheryl Preheim shows us, he broke many barriers as the best boxer in the world. Breaking Barriers, paid for by NeighborWorks Waco. Born and raised in Louisville, Cassius Clay began training as an amateur boxer at age 12. At 18, Clay was Team USA's best hope for a boxing medal in the 1960 Rome Games. Clay breezed through his four fights on his way to gold with three unanimous decisions and a knockout, but that was just the beginning. After the Olympics, Clay turned professional, beat Sonny Liston, and became the heavyweight champion. He converted to Islam and changed his name to Muhammad Ali. In 1966, he was drafted to fight in the Vietnam War. In 67, he chose not to serve, which led him to being arrested and stripped of his titles. The U.S. Supreme Court overturned Ali's conviction in 1971. Ali returned to boxing with several high-profile bouts, reclaiming the world heavyweight title all while promoting peace and providing help to those who need it. His daughter was asked about the civil unrest in America in 2020. At the 96 Summer Games in Atlanta, Ali was the final torchbearer and lit the Olympic flame. He died in 2016 after battling Parkinson's disease. He was 74, an everlasting symbol of courage, independence, and determination. And an interesting fact about Ali, he hated flying so much, he bought a parachute and wore it for the duration of his flight to Rome back in 1960. I feel like that's just like a plan B, like just in case. <laughs> well, you might hate flying, but you hate jumping out of an airplane probably more. Yeah. But if it's going to save your life, sure. Matt.